thank you everyone for tuning in. We have a really exciting interview. Um, I'll let you introduce yourself. So if you wouldn't mind telling us your name, your instrument, and what you're doing now. Yeah, um, so my name is Micah Dominguez Schatz. Um, I play, I mean, a few different instruments, but in class, uh, I played flute. Um, and right now I go to NYU. Um, I'm in the uh, School for Individualized Study and I'm studying um, music and politics. Awesome. What would you expect to see as an MCI student? Like what um, is the music program like? Well, it's a lot less um, like uptight than you might think it is, you know? Um, everyone thinks of, of music as like, like some, some nerdy thing. It's like theory and you but really at the end of the day, uh, the music program at NCI does a really good job of like, of teaching that stuff, but of focusing on, um, you know, playing as a, as a group, playing together. Um, and I think that makes it more of an enjoyable experience. Was it difficult to balance your music commitments with the rest of your workload? Uh, well, I'm, I'm someone who loves to do just every single extracurricular possible. Um, so I would say it was difficult for me, but that's only because I joined like every music group, every club. Um, and so it was like trying to keep track of all my commitments and stuff like that. Um, but I'd say that the, the like amount you have to practice for the music program um, it's not insignificant, but it's not overwhelming. It's, it's super easy to integrate it into your, um, your day-to-day -day schedule, getting all your homework done, getting your practicing done. It's, it's not, um, not too challenging. Yeah. And it's like a break from your other subjects exactly. too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's one piece of advice that you'd give to anyone taking music, especially during COVID? Ooh, during COVID. Um, I would say uh, music is a really, really good way to escape from just the world of being stressed. I feel like when you get, you sit down, you're practicing, you're playing something, um, it like your mind just goes off of anything that it's, it's stressful. So I'd say um, use music to help you with COVID and use the time you get from COVID to help you with music. Yeah, that's a really good way of thinking about it. It's, I definitely felt myself practicing more too <laughs> during mm -hmm. these times. Oh, for sure. Uh, so moving on to talking about uh, your university college experience right now, why did you choose the program that you're in? Uh, well, I chose the program that I'm in actually so that I can um, continue to study um, music. So uh, my program is uh, an individualized study program. And so it kind of means that almost all of my courses are electives. Um, and so, uh, basically going into every semester, I have to like type a, you know, a few pages about what I'm studying, what I want to study, what I want to get out of the program, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so I knew I wanted to study politics, but I also knew that I didn't want to give up music and that music was more than like a, like, you know, I didn't want to just join an ensemble and leave it at that. I wanted it to be an active part of my university experience. And so um, this, you know, open program allowed me to continue having music as a part of my course of study. That's really cool. I like that a lot. So mm -hmm. what kind of ensembles do you have? So you're studying it as part of your academics, but like, are you also in ensembles? Uh, this first semester, I actually opted to not join any ensembles, but I'm uh, definitely going to audition for next year um, because I've seen a lot of the performances and they're really, really talented groups. Um, I was thinking of joining a concert band. I was thinking of doing a small jazz ensemble, uh, like a quartet or something like that. And then I was also going to audition for the um, university uh, big band, the jazz band, oh, nice. which is which is crazy because they have like PhD music students that play in this band and stuff. And it's like, oh, my God. Yeah, that's so cool. So what are your future aspirations? after you graduate? After I graduate, see, so this is, everyone always says like, what's your five-year plan? You know, yeah. what are you doing five years from now? Um, I don't know for a fact what I'm doing. Um, I think it'd be great. I'd love to become a teacher. Um, you know, subject matter doesn't even matter. 
<laughs> I just I just love to be some kind of teacher, I think, uh, and to work with um, young kids and, you know, spread yeah. the love. So. Of course. And it's, it's okay to like not know exactly what you're going to do as well. Exactly. You get to learn so much from being at university and you'll get like mm -hmm. ideas of that as well. Exactly, exactly. And this question is a bit nostalgic. Um, what was your favorite musical experience? This can be at MCI or in general, whatever you'd like. My favorite musical experience at MCI, I think it was always playing with the stage band because it was a really, really fun group. I think we all enjoyed it. Um, if I'm correct, we had rehearsals that started at like 7.30 a.m. Oh, no. 7.30 on a Friday. <laughs> Oh, on a, on a Friday, exactly. And then a bunch of us were, you know, at the school late um, Thursday night for um, for senior band from 7 until 9 p.m. So it was like we basically hadn't left the school. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I liked it. It was fun. It was like... I know. And then everyone would complain about how tired they were. And it was like a whole... It was a whole experience. It was. All right. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for sitting down with me today. I really enjoyed hearing about your experience. Um, yeah. yeah. Anytime. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Bye.